Okay, so if you're ready, I'm going to do a little intro and we'll get into it. Okay, that was good. Right, Metalheads, this is DJ Rem, and I have Hammer Fight on the line. How are you guys doing? Good, dude. What's up? Awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start, and if you can just go ahead and throw your name out there and your spot in the band, and then if you can also mention the other guys that aren't here. Uh, I'm Drew. I play bass and do vocals. Uh, Todd and Rob, our guitar players, are not here. Uh, Justin is. Yeah, I'm Justin. I play drums, and I'm here, too. Okay. Very cool. So how long have you guys all been together? Uh, uh, well, I guess we had the band together since, like, uh, late spring, I guess. Me and Rob started writing these songs about a little over a year ago. We, uh, thought we cut the record. We got my brother to play drums on it, and then... Todd and Justin were the first guys we asked to join him. They were down. That's what we've been doing. We started playing in June, I think, was our first show. Very cool. How did you guys all get together then? Oh, we knew these guys from just playing shows and, you know, going to shows for a long time. We knew them from a bassinate, their other band. And, uh, yeah, so we knew we could get along with them and they were they could play. And it worked. Yeah, I tell you, I, I dig your guys' sound. I, I would agree. It works for sure. Thanks, bro. And the new stuff is awesome, too, I think. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of new stuff that we haven't recorded yet. Oh, very cool. I look forward to that. Because I, I have the current album right now, and it's it's killer. Oh, thanks. That's Pretty much is like a demo for us. but uh, More like an EP kind of thing? Yeah, but yeah. it's being received well. There was talk of some label about wanting to put it out, put it out. So we'll see, we'll see what happens next. Right. <coughs> so before we get too far in, I definitely I want to thank um, Clawhammer for hooking me up with you guys. They uh, they sent me your your music. They always do me very well, and I think they do bands very well. So I just want to thank them. Yeah, thank yeah, you, Clawhammer. Those guys are great. Cool thing about those guys is they they only send me stuff because I've been working with them long enough. They only send me stuff they know I'm gonna like. They don't they don't waste my time with stuff. They're like uh, he's not gonna like these guys, so they don't even bother me with stuff they know I don't like. Hey, that's awfully considerate of them. Yes. <laughs> so, what um, I don't know what I was gonna say. What's going on with you guys right now? Are you guys doing any shows or? Yeah. Um. Uh... I mean, we just we just did like a little weekender uh, last week. That was like our first like little um, run as this band, you know. Um, we did um, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday type thing, and um, a little taste of what touring is going to be like. And we don't have anything else booked until what, January, January twenty eighth. Yeah, <laughs> at the Brighton Bar in Long Branch, New Jersey. Okay, so you guys, is that where you guys are out of then? Are you in that, uh, from that area? Oh, we're kind of spread out. Like, me and Rob live outside of Atlantic City. These guys are a little further north near, like, Kingsburg, so there's, like, an hour and a half between us. But, uh, we've been making it work. Yeah. Very cool. Very easy. So, I'm guessing it's hard, kind of hard for you guys to get together and practice then, hey? Well, um, our, our guitarist, uh, are you talking about right now for the interview? Yeah, I mean, just in general, where you guys are at right now. Uh, actually, it's been pretty easy, actually. We've just been splitting it up. Like, we usually practice like once a week. One week we drive up to the north, and then the next week they come down my way. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's been pretty easy. Yeah, we take turns. Yeah, I mean, I've had more trouble getting people together to practice in bands where everyone lives in the same neighborhood. So. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> we got no complaints of where we live. Right. That's crazy. The drive is getting faster every time I do it. Right. Yeah, I know how that goes. So, um, what were the influences got you guys into in, into metal and music, and you know, just made you decide that you wanted to do this? Um, I remember I've been in the metal since I was six, and my cousin Mark played me a cassette tape of Vibe the Lightning. And uh, 
So this is his fault. And it's, <laughs> I've never looked back. I've been playing shows since I was 13, so I don't even remember what it's like not to be in a band anymore. Yeah, I kind of, uh, <clears throat> I had a cousin that gave me uh, cassette tapes when I was like, I don't know, probably like nine or ten. And I got into metal, Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, Overkill, all that, you know, like late 80s thrash type shit. And uh, here I am, I still love the same type of shit. That's cool. Yeah. Can we say shit? Is this like uh, <laughs> internet radio? Internet radio, we can say whatever we want. Oh, uh, cool. Fuck. <laughs> So, yeah, like what I'm going to say right now, FM sucks. <laughs> it truly does. Yeah, we. Uh, that's our motto at Metalhead. We don't, uh, yeah. If, if it's being played on FM, and it's unfortunate, but if it, in, these, in this day and age, if it's on FM, it's probably really bad. Well, you just wrote a song that might actually be friendly for FM. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt very much anyone will play it, though. Well, you, you probably will, but it's so I don't know if anybody's ever told anybody else. This, you know, when I listen to you guys, I kind of hear a little bit of Motorhead in there. That's weird. <laughs> Especially the vocals. I'm like, this kind of sounds like, you know, and not that I'm, I don't mean that as a bad thing. I, you know, I really dig the sound. So that's pretty much what I was going for. Like I wasn't gonna sing initially, but we couldn't find anyone that worked really. And then the one guy that I was talking to, he actually died. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate. He was my boy. But um, once we decided I was going to do it, it was like we didn't want to just scream, you know, like all the bands do. Uh, so I just figured, fuck it, I'll just pretend I'm Lemmy because I can't really sing, so that worked. <laughs> yeah, it's good sound, good sound. And I tell you what, when I've been playing your, uh, when I play your tunes on my radio show, I get good feedback from the, fan- from the listeners, so. Awesome. Yep, people, people dig you. And- yeah, yeah. Been well received everywhere so far. So I'll be continuing to to push and promote. So thanks, homie. So hey, uh, you know, I um when they when they send me the album in in with the songs, there's the this um this graphic. It says hammer fight, and it's got the skull with the hammers and stuff in it. Yeah. First of all, I just want to say that's extremely cool. And who who designed that? Who came up with that idea? Well, it was. My idea, and I started sketching stuff around, but I didn't like what I was doing, so I asked my buddy at Buzz, asked him if he's a tattooer and a comic book guy down in Delaware to draw it up, and he sent it over to me literally within like two hours of asking for it, so it was pretty sweet. Wow. So you're going to, when you when you actually go like a full album, you're going to use that for an album cover, you think? No, nah, we'll probably do something, you know, different, a little more. Right. No, I don't know. We got all kinds of new like designs, and I was talking with Buzz about me and him like drawing something up together. We got some ideas. Nice. What? Where did you record the the, the current songs that that I have? Where'd you record them at? We recorded them at Merritt's Music in Vineland, New Jersey, with the guy who runs the place. Is Merritt Gant used to play guitar in Overkill and Faith of Fear? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's his studio. So we went over there, and uh, Rob knew him from back in the day. Being in bands, and uh, it was real easy. He dug it. He had a lot of fun making it, and it was fun for us as well. How'd you guys um, come up with a name for the band? <laughs> uh, I came up with it like two years ago, thinking of names for when I was started by other band, like hardcore band, No Holds Barred. They didn't like it, um, and then when me and Rob were doing this. I threw it out there as an idea, and it was in the maybe list for months, and we just, uh, we just picked it. Everyone seemed to... It was, it was well-received when we ran it by people. So. Good. Very catchy name. Yeah, it makes you want to feel like you want to smash stuff. <laughs> so what, um... <laughs> What do you guys do when you're not when you're not jamming and, and recording and playing music? What do you guys do to relax? I mean, you know, what do you, you're, um, you're normal people like everybody else. Uh, spend a lot of time at work. Yeah, <laughs> work a lot. Yeah, hey, like the rest of us. Nice. <laughs> when I'm not at work, I'm usually doing something. Like I'm either like drawing shit <coughs> or you know playing my bass or 
guitar or recording stuff in my basement or and I have a screen printer so I'm printing shirts for us or like any countless number of like a hundred fucking bands that I've been working with so uh I don't have a lot of downtime. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Where, where can people buy that merchandise that you're making for yourself? Oh, you can buy our merchandise from our Facebook page, or you can go to hammerfight.bigcartel.com. Okay. We're trying to do a promotion right now. So we want to raise money. We got to go to the studio, and we that's not cheap. So we need mm-hmm. cash. So go buy our stuff, and you can hear some new tunes. <laughs> Can they can they buy like a physical a physical CD with the, with the current songs too? Oh, it's only three bucks too. Nice. And if they buy a shirt, it's free. Dang, I might have to go buy one. Sure. <laughs> well, and that's you know, I, I, I want I want to say this, especially if everybody's going to listen to this interview. You know, the bands, most bands these days, you know, they foot their own bill. You know, they don't have big uh, record label doing you know doing supporting all that cost and these guys you know these guys are doing this on their own and they gotta they gotta pay for stuff so my my my, my spiel here, here is people need to buy the mer- buy these guys merchandise buy you know buy their music help support them so they can continue to make awesome music yep <laughs> so there's my shameless promotion for you thank you thank you So what else is going on with you guys? I mean, what what else do you want the world to know about you guys? You know, what sets you guys apart from the hundred other, the thousand other bands out there? You don't wear skinny jeans, and there's not a breakdown in every song. <laughs> we um, we also did uh, when we started filming a music video recently too. Yeah, we did that, and we up until last night are still working on uh, a song for a, a movie. Oh, nice. You know what? Actually, that reminds me. I was going to ask you about that. See? This is this is why we're talking. So, yeah. So, what's going up with this? So, you're looking at a couple, a, a song or two for a, a soundtrack, right? For a zombie flick? Yeah, it's the comic. It's based on a comic book. The Living Corpse was just done by the guy, Buzz Hassan, who designed that, our logo. So, he texted me like a month ago. Like, hey, man got any new hammer fight songs about zombies i was like no like, give us a couple days and we'll have one for you so uh yeah and we've been going back and forth with the director talking about ideas he emailed me this morning so i think it's a go we got a we got one in the can that is acceptable for those hollywood types <laughs> nice well you know when that when that's ready to go to be be out there make sure you send it to me so i can play it oh definitely because i i definitely will uh pour it out That's pretty cool. So, is this this movie? Is it going to be something I'll be able to go to the theater to see, or is it more of an indie film? A computer animated, like zombie flick. Oh, nice! That's, so far, it's looking like it's probably going to go straight to DVD, but I don't know. I haven't really talked to the guys about that. I know they're trying to get theatrical release, but I don't know. Right. Well, that's that's cool though that you get get to get some music in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's it'll be good for us regardless. Yep. More promotion. What's uh so of your of your song? What do you guys have a favorite song you like to play? Uh, let's see. Get wrecked is probably the most fun. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good one. You yeah. can't seem to get into it. We do. Um, I mean, all the songs on that recording are. I mean, they're all just as fun. I think I I love them all. We don't have any that I don't enjoy playing. I, I like it like when uh, the guitar harmony solo stuff comes in because that's neat to just like look at the kids watching those guys play. Right. So, yeah. I love um, if you want blood, you got it. I dig that tune. Thanks, everyone. See, I got a lot of people told me they like that, and when we came back to the studio, I didn't I didn't know what to think, but uh, it's cool, I guess. I like it. Heck, I like it just from the title before I even listen to it. <laughs> yeah, it's an easy song. Uh, we just took like a minute out of it. It was very easy to record. All right, cool. So, what kind of if, if I was to if, if I was to look at what you're listening to in your car, or your MP3 player right now, what would I find you guys listening to? I was 
Thompson. <laughs> um, dude, there's so much, man. Um, Long as you don't say Nickelback, we're good, okay? No, 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 no Nickelback. <laughs> um, I've been listening to a uh, lot of uh, this band called Gamma Bomb. Uh, they're like a this uh, speed thrash band from Ireland, I think. Did you say they're called Jamma Bomb? Yeah. I'll, have to ch- I'll look them up. Fucking awesome. Uh, you should check them out. Uh, I listen to a lot of death metal and shit, too, like Dying Fetus and um, Spell of Carnage, shit like that. I've been listening to mostly the Donnas and Blood Duster recently. <laughs> Very cool. I've been listening to a lot of Deep Purple lately. That's been my thing for some reason. Cool. Going old school. Yeah, I always have the classic rock station on when, I, when I'm forced to listen to uh, FM radio. Yeah. Strangely enough, I was listening to Motorhead on the ride over here. <laughs> and the new Faith or Fear album that just came out. Rob, our guitar player, he plays bass with them now. He just gave me the new CD last night. It just came out. It sounds really good. Cool. Do you guys have any ad- advice for other bands out there trying to uh, do something with themselves? I mean, obviously it's not easy, you know. What What's the what's the key ingredient you need? I would say quit. Go to school. <laughs> <laughs> um, as long as you really love to do it, go for, just do it. Just, you know? Not really, you know. Don't expect anyone to just hand you shit. Right. Yeah. Not easy... <laughs> That's for damn sure. He's right. Yeah. We've all been doing this for a long time. And we've all done lots of touring. And uh, so we know what we're getting ourselves into. Right. We're totally okay with that. I, I, I have no problem living basically like a homeless person in a van for a month at a time. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> I'm just trying, we're trying to, you know, progressively like, you know, be more and more comfortable every time we go out, you know, right. a little less. Because it's weird. The only time I've ever, like, gotten fatter but actually lost weight was while touring. <laughs> right. I don't understand how that happens. I guess it's because you survive on, like, disgusting food. <laughs> Sit around eating Twinkies all day, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess with the dollar menu. I'm trying to come up with a plan to eat healthy on the road and not go broke. Good for you, food is expensive. Yeah, it's fucking retarded. I don't care. It sucks. <laughs> it, oh, there's no doubt. You want to eat healthy, you get, you got to break the bank. Okay, so I think you touched on this, but who who writes the music and what's your creative process to get to get that going? Everything on the CD was written by me and Rob. We wrote all that before you know, we even had the band together. But usually, like. Most of the time, one of us already basically has the song together, and we'll just show it to some of the rest of the guys and go with it. Um, like I have a whole bunch of songs, new stuff. So a couple of our new songs, just things I just wrote at home and uh, show the guys that we were going to do it. Uh, me and Justin, that year before you called, were just coming out on something he was writing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. What's uh okay? So you guys have been doing this for a long time. What what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you guys at a show or something? Hmm. I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> Drew probably has some good stories. I'm not. Yeah, we're not gonna get into. We don't need to worry. Don't worry about. It. I don't know. Wait, what about you, Ninja? <laughs> uh, nothing really comes to mind. Oh man, I was hoping for some good juice. I know. Give me a couple years. I just think that we got to think about because there's so many to like weed through. Um, okay. I'll, right. I'll have some time to think about that one. I know but, exactly what I should say, but I'm not going to. I don't because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, don't don't say anything. To incriminate yourselves. What's um okay? I'll twist that question around, and again, if you don't want to answer it, that's cool. I, I'm 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 easy. What um? Tell me something about each other that nobody would know. Todd's never seen Beer Fest. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of movies that he hasn't seen, and we like to uh, move on for it. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't think 
think I know enough about Justin to be able to tell you something that no one would know. Uh, oh, he's a ninja. <laughs> it's true. Says it on his hoodie. Oh. It's a nickname of mine. I'm not a real ninja. Oh, man. You don't have throwing stars and stuff? Come on. I would love to. I just don't know how. <laughs> So I asked that question, well, I, you know, I've heard a lot of interesting things, but the, the one that cracks me up the most is I asked that question to a band once, and they told me that they were all super hammered on stage, and one of their members tried to take a, uh, tr- tried to take a bong hit off the uh, fog machine. I thought that was pretty classic. So. Yeah, we're on. Um... I like to get hammered at shows, but I really suck when I'm drunk, so I try to wait till after we're done playing. You know, I've been trying to pace myself. Like when we first, I'm not used to singing and playing, and when we first started doing this, I would get real winded, especially if, the, if I was drunk when I played. So I'm trying to pace myself before we play. But once we finish, all bets are off. Right, right. <laughs> I got a uh, sweet little cup holder for my mic stand now, so I can get hammered while I play nice. by the end of the set I'm feeling good <laughs> okay anything else you want to tell the world tell the listeners that are going to listen to this uh, anything about you guys that we haven't talked about you want everybody to know um, check us out yeah check us out buy our stuff um, we are not above corporate sponsorship <laughs> <laughs> We just want to keep doing this, get on the road, and let everyone hear us and see us and fall in love with it. Yeah, we're planning to be on the road as much as possible next year, so keep your eyes open. Okay, well, and I'll do my part to play your stuff as much as possible to help uh, get get the name out there and so people know what you guys are about. So. Uh, yeah, thanks. We'll have, a, we have two new tracks in like a month, and... Beginning of next month, we'll have our music video, and the first few weeks it'll be an exclusive on StereoKiller.com. So, uh, we'll keep you posted. Yeah, keep me posted on that because once again, I will, um, you know, I'll mention all that stuff on air, and and I'll spam it on Facebook and do what I can. So, awesome, I do. So I got one last thing to ask you before uh, before I let you go. If you could make a couple radio tags for me, sure. So the first one. If you guys can say this is Hammer Fight, and you're listening to DJ Rem at MetalheadRadio.com. Okay. So, uh, you want to you do, like, we, we need to say half of it? Yeah, well, like, should we introduce our names as well? Yeah, you guys, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Like, I'll say this is Hammer Fight, and then you say the other half. You remember what it, what it is? <laughs> Hang on. He's getting a pet. <laughs> Listening to DJ Rem. Yeah. What's the whole thing? At metalheadradio.com. Should we say metalheadradio.com is listening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Ready? This is Hammer Floyd. You're listening to DJ Rem at metalheadradio.com. That was killer. Thank you. <laughs> that was perfect. I, I love it when I do when, when when we do this and the bands actually get into it and don't just kind of talk. So thank you. Oh yeah, no problem. All right, so one more, and this one you're just gonna say, you know, this is Hammer Fight, and you're listening to MetalheadRadio.com. That that one I send to all the DJs to play before they play your tunes. You say this is Hammer Fight, and you're listening to. And then you should do one. Uh, <laughs> I want to do one really stupid. Yeah, dude, go for it. More the merrier. This is Hammer Fight, and you're listening to MetalheadRadio.com. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and we shouldn't use that. <laughs> oh, good shit. <laughs> uh, you want to do the trade off thing again? Yeah, sure. This time you start. All right. This is Hammer Fight, and you're listening to MetalheadRadio.com. Okay. <laughs> Cool guys, appreciate it a ton. Thanks, uh, thanks for taking the time to talk. And um, 
Yeah, keep me posted on everything that's going on so I can help uh, push and promote for you, okay? All right, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. So, all right, you guys have a great day. You too. Thanks, man. Yep, later.